Bees knees in the building. What's going on with you, my bro? What's up, baby? Man, I can't call it, man. I can't call it. Just out here, uh, just out here trucking every day. That's about it. Yes, sir. Uh, it's been a minute for you, bro. Uh, why don't why don't you tell us uh what you've been into since uh since the last time we talked? Ah, man, it's uh you know just a lot of business wise, you know um. Since pretty much the last time I got on the, uh, you know, on the YouTubes with you, um, I went from working at Hertzbach to uh, mm -hmm. buying several different trucks. Uh, I partnered with a uh, good friend of mine um, that I was in the military with and uh, bought two Mack trucks okay. um, and then uh, purchased a, uh, you know, uh, purchased a trailer, then purchased a uh, an FLD as well. I did. That was our latest purchase. So, I've been like a little roller coaster of a ride for the so years. You, so, so you, you know. upgraded, bro. Congratulations, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, Damn. Two, two, it. two Mack trucks in a, in a what now? And a Freightliner FLD 120, like a 93 pre-emissions, pre-ELD. Wow. Uh, comes with the Detroit Series 60, 12.7. Wow. Rebuild on it. You, it so what, so yeah. I, I know you driving that one, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm driving that one. It's actually in the shop right now. Um, mm -hmm. just some minor issues. Uh, I just purchased it like a couple weeks ago, and um, I want to get a fresh oil change, get a whole new axle, uh, uh tires, drive tires on it. Um, it comes with the 24, uh, 24 five, so uh, there's a little expensive, and then uh, I got to replace the uh, fan. I think it's the fan motor, but it actually might just be an air valve because it's. Uh, so um yeah you kind of just you, the air perks valve kind of went dark there for a second yo man so uh, damn it man uh did you <laughs> did you did 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 you uh did you go and get your um your your authority or you just partnered with with a person that has an authority and you just got your llc and everything oh no i just uh i partnered with a person um with the BOC Enterprises, um, you know, most hated guy on YouTube, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh partnered with them and uh you know, um and I can honestly say that's probably been the best thing that I've done business wise. I was kinda nervous at the beginning and uh just partnering with someone I don't really know and um I tell you what, ever since I've been here, that man's done everything from helping my business grow and then partnering with us. To the point where I was going to leave, um, me, me and my trucks and my partner, we were going to leave to do our own authority, but then we got offered a deal to partner with him, and we could pretty much stay here and build our own fleet within him. And all the right. numbers, you know, really all make sense. So, well, uh, well you already I was okay with doing that. Well, you, you, you got you, you was able to get two mat trucks out the deal. So you get you do do you got people uh, driving them now, or are you looking for people? No, I actually got a have a lease purchased. The one Mack truck that I bought, I lease purchased that out. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been uh, about two months in with the lease purchase and uh, going pretty good so far with it. So uh, right now, um, I got uh, two other trucks. One I drive this uh, FLD, and then um, we have the other Mack. It's a newer Mack um, that my partner drives, and then uh, we're looking at sometime next year. Probably within the beginning of the year, getting a classic. That's the next uh, kind of truck I want. Okay. Um, so, uh, but yeah, right now we're kind of we're um, looking for guys that have their own trucks. Um, but if I'm going to be doing like a lease purchase, it's not going to happen until quarter one of next year. Gotcha, so. gotcha, man. All right, so so leaving Hirschbach and 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 taking the leap of faith on your own has been a good, has been a good thing for you. Oh man. It's dude. It's been like a blessing because like, uh, there for a while, you know, you know, it just going through the rhythm and everything. And, and, uh, I just got tired of like, just the, uh, uh, you know, I've always been a person, like I kind of do better on my own and I don't need someone that's going to be hovering over me or, or, or kind of tell me what to do or catch an attitude with me. That's probably like the worst thing um, is I'll give a person respect all day long, but to catch attitudes and it just, you know, we're going to have a different type of conversation. I see that a lot in trucking where a lot of times these dispatchers and these driver managers or whatever title they want to put on them, 
just want to treat the drivers like dog shit. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm just not the one for that. I'm not saying Hirschbach did that. They were actually really cool. It's just the money wasn't there, man. And, um, you know, since I've been out on my own and I get to actually see what these loads go for, these rate cons and everything else, it's like, oh, my God, why, now, why haven't I done this sooner? Now, it's funny thing. since you left Hirschbach. Uh, you know, of course, I I had the I had the pleasure of talking to one of the uh, one of the uh, office people from Hirschbach. Uh, but as well, I had like uh, maybe about two, three other people that came on, and you know, they 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 opinions and they experience with Hirschbach was way different than what you experienced. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I was saying. Like, you know, when we did that interview, it's like, it comes down to that driver manager, man. Like, mm -hmm. if you get a good DM uh, uh, and, and they're looking out for your best interest, get you good loads, you know, the money, money's going to be there and everything else. Was I ever disrespected, really? I am, no. It just got to no, the you point did, where no, no, no. You ain't said, DM. Right. You you yeah. ain't said that you was disrespected or anything like that. Oh, yeah. And you, you made it a point. You made it a point to say that it was, you know, the money for you just wasn't there. You know, you yeah, I mean, just, not yeah. you know, you you know, like I like I said before, who you know, whoever experienced it is, uh whoever experienced it is, maybe the money is there for them. And, you know, and it just wasn't just wasn't there for you. I mean, you didn't technically you didn't badmouth the company in any kind of way. Oh, you just, nah, you know, nah. you just pretty much said, you know, it just it it just wasn't it just wasn't right for you at that time. But now yeah, it just wasn't a good fit, you know, but oh, now right. you're but now you're good, though. Right. Oh, yeah. Now it's. It's like a night and day since then. I uh, took a, you know, when you go to the owner op, it's like, you know, you're, it's, it's almost like a roll of a dice, man, to be honest. You know, it's, it's a lot more research. You know, I suggest anyone, you know, looking when they go to buy their trucks and everything else, really research what you're, what you're buying. Research the maintenance, how much this truck is going to cost you in maintenance, where you're going to get the maintenance done at, to how you're going to drive it, to the mechanics of the truck. It's just... Hey, you're not a driver anymore, so you're really taking a look at all these numbers because the trucking game, being an owner up, I mean, you can you can make a lot of money, and and you're not going to see this money in trucking. Uh, uh, you know, you, I'm not saying you can't make good money as a company, you can, but the money as an owner is completely different. You just got to keep in mind that this the maintenance is no joke. You know, in two months, I went, you know, just from having a bad incident and everything else, um. I uh, I took like a fifty thousand dollar hit, you know, and uh, and that you know I wasn't driving uh, uh, the truck, I wasn't pulling, you know, using a trailer. It just we had a bad incident with one of the contractors, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, long story short, it, it kind of wrecked the trailer, and 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 two months of just uh, you know just having a hit every week on maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. And then the tow bill with that that was associated with that incident was fucking ridiculous. Uh, uh, you know, two mile tow bill for for or two mile tow for uh, uh, like two two grand, and then I had to transplace a load, which was like another five grand. You know, I'm talking like twenty uh, twenty five G's just uh, uh, within within uh, forty eight hours after that incident. You know, realistically, wow, uh, is what that cost me. Um, you know, so, you know, you look at these big numbers and you got to you got to substantiate that cost, you know, so you got to you got to know what these lanes pay. You got to know what the high end, the low end, the medium end is. You got to be willing to to uh, uh, put in the work, you know, and everything else. As long as you're willing to do that, you know, you, you're going to hit these rough times and everything else. You're going to hit maintenance. That's a given. You buy a used truck or whatever else. You got to you got to take that into position that you're going to going to have maintenance, you're going to have breakdowns. And. A lot of people don't think is like, you know, or they're like, okay, I'm breaking down. Now you got a hotel bay. You got all your personal expenses. Mm -hmm. You have this, you have that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all that comes into place. Just, you know, can you risk if you, if, if, if you're taking a hit on the business side, can you risk not paying yourself for a month? You know, that's, that's some of the questions you got to ask and prepare yourself for because, 
you know, it's like I tell some of the contractors that are uh, with me, you know, with my fleet, you know, that that business got to be fed. That business got to eat. That business is like a baby. And if you don't feed the baby, the baby going to die because that's mm-hmm. that's what it is. It comes down to at the end of the day. But if you do it right, you treat the trucks right, you, and you kind of just go along with it, and, and, and you're not uh, uh, being a baller with your money, so to speak, um, and, and you treat that business, uh, you know, like it should be. You're you're you'll make it. You'll do good, and and next thing you know, you'll you'll have a way. You know, you'd probably be in a better headspace because for me, being an owner and everything else and being able to do what I want to do, go where I want to go. If I need to go home, I can. If, if I need to, uh, uh, something comes up before with the family, I can make it there. You know, um, there's a lot of reward in it. It's just some of the risks are very, to be very detrimental if you don't play the game right. Exactly. You know? And that's, and that's, yeah. uh, and that's. And and on that point right there, man, you 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 took the time, you took the time, you you, you did your homework, you you did what you need to do to make it to make it to where you at right now. Uh, Bees knees, man. The 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 trucking show is back on YouTube. Uh, you've been ghost for 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 a little bit. Uh, <laughs> was was uh was yeah. that was that being that because you was getting your stuff together, uh getting your business together on that side before you decided to jump back on YouTube? Yeah, pretty much. Um, you know, when I had that incident go down, I was kind of ghost for a little bit because that was a very stressful time, you know, um, you know, 50, 50 G's in two months, you know, it's just, uh, that right there is enough to take some people and, and totally knock them out of the game, you know? And, uh, so that was very stressful for me because, we had the money is just like, all right, now we're down to a number that I don't like to have with the amount of trucks that I have. So you have to start, you know, setting yourself up a certain way and preparing for the worst, even when you're going on and uh, you're able to, whether it's credit, where is it liquidate cash somehow so that the business can still survive. So for me, it was like, all right, um, I'm going to just do my thing business wise, really concentrate on it, get myself back to where I was at and, and continue to go further with it so that, you know, um, I could just concentrate on that because I do have contractors. I do have, you know, le- you know, legit business and everything. And, you know, so, um, I just, I concentrate on that when I was concentrating on that, it's just really stressful. And if I be honest to make con- some, if the big content, it would just been, and this guy's, depressing you know and right. i want to be is that right so, that's know, not I'm... what bees needs trucking show is all about <laughs> yeah, uh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but you came but but you came back on man and uh what's 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 going on with you in the in the latest video man what's oh, what what happened <laughs> but you know it's uh you know my channel's all over the place and it is what it is that's why i try to tell people you know it's bees knees, man. This is bees knees truck to show you. You know, it, it's just it's it, it's real. It's it's you know it's none of that fake drama or anything else. But life is has drama in it, and unfortunately, you know, I have very strong opinions and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. that's cool. But that's what this platform is about, you know. And it's like, uh, you no, know, it gives you a time where you can voice your opinions, voice your thoughts, and in a way, it kind of helps you uh alleviate some of that stress and whatever else so you know uh so a good buddy of mine so uh, so what know, happened i mean what, what, what happened well, what? <laughs> you know i come back on and i uh a good buddy of mine was being treated badly you know uh nevada truck trails i throw it out there you know because the videos are public mm-hmm. you know and this guy trucks was kind of uh bad. yeah so you know and this guy trucks um well, he makes it a point to uh, kind of bash him and belittle him uh, hmm. because of some comments uh, that Nevada said in the in, in a particular video, mm-hmm. and he didn't really like that comment. He thought Nevada was being uh, he was playing dirty or or had other intentions other than what the comment was, and really wasn't the case. The guy just got too far in his head and. Uh, by doing so, he went on to bash a very good friend of mine, mm-hmm. um, which would be in Nevada. You know, I've 
worked at the same company as him before. I've been over at his house, we grilled and everything else. And when I hear a bigger YouTuber with 70,000 plus subscribers attacking another YouTuber that has a very good channel, has a very good informational channel, gives out good advice and everything else, and is growing from where he's at to what I think now is 2000 maybe maybe a little bit more um, right he's a small channel but he's growing but he's growing yeah, that's, but he's yeah, growing. yeah he's growing yeah and uh so when i see that i'm like all right this guy is taking his audience taking his channel and using that in return to attack a, uh, a smaller channel and not only attack a smaller channel but attack the character of that individual and when you start calling that guy like well this guy's a a coward and this guy is this mm. and this guy is that and you know he he said you know well i've been watching you go from channel to channel you know so i started thinking to myself well this guy truck says he doesn't partake in drama he doesn't right. watch drama right. well then if you don't watch it if you don't partake in it it's not like you're gonna wake up you know one day on your phone and you're gonna see oh well 10 guys are making videos about me no 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 it doesn't work like that playboy you actually got to got to look into who's making videos about you it's just you don't get no notifications like a damn text message right you know so um so i watch what he says and everything else and i pay attention to how he's acting so i'm like all right this guy this guy is full of shit man he starts popping off at the mouth he can he can call people out you know he could talk bad about trucking he could talk about bad about older truckers people that put time in the game he could talk about that all about this but then the moment someone actually lashes out back to him or states their opinion about him and he had wants to have an attitude and maybe throw around or play the game a little bit you know mm. you know and um and just i hit a bad bad thing about me so you know past two of my videos i've been giving my little opinion about about this guy trucks and and whatnot and how i view his character since he wants to make his observations on other people well you know that kind of opens up you know that's for that's, you to have observations. That's that's kind of that's kind of funny. I mean, you know, I I never, you know, I, I I don't know the man personally or anything like that. I mean, you know, I do his 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 uh videos do come in my in my recommendation, yeah. and yep. and I I I thought he was uh I thought he was at GP Transco. I mean, I you know he he made a video with uh. He made a video about GP Transco when I guess when he was promoting him, and I think I reached out to him to you know to you know to bring him on the show to to, to promote GP uh, Transco, but I I never got any you know I never got any feedback from him or anything like that, you know I mean I called GP Transco on my own and you know I had the interview with them, uh, I probably yeah. might have to. I probably might have to uh, re uh, redo it, uh, re reach out to him again next year. Um, but I mean, from what I have saw from his videos, uh, he went ghost because somebody was was trolling him, and he was, you know, he was like, you know, troll real bad to the point that he actually went ghost on YouTube, and Brittany. Uh, Brittany and Pink, you know, she was the one that kind of went to bat for him, like, you know. So I'm I'm surprised yeah. that that he would that he would do something, you know, do something against his character like that. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's and I know exactly what you talk about, like the trolling situation. I'm not gonna uh talk about it too much, but that uh person I was making those videos. Uh, uh, against this guy trucks that started from when this guy trucks started bashing people in his like comment section and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the guy that uh, you know was making the videos about him um, was one of those people that he bashed in the comment section and mm -hmm. the comment that was left was nothing like that was you know uh, out of line or anything like that it was just a, a subscriber of his giving a, a opinion and uh, this guy trucks use that comment and bash this guy to the point of uh, uh no you know no very belittling his intelligence no <laughs> yeah. return essentially yeah so that guy said well you know what i'm gonna create a uh youtube channel and uh i'm a i'm gonna post a video i'm 
about my thoughts and concerns about this guy. Yeah. And this guy is an older, uh, he's not like an older, older trucker, but he's, he's been uh, a trucker for like 20 years, maybe a little bit less, you know. Uh, uh, so, you know, he, he's got some experience in the field and he just said rubbed him the wrong way. So, yeah, and I was that just, went on and, for a year. And that's so, why I say he, <laughs> you know, that's why I say he went, he, you know, he went poof. And then all of a sudden, yeah. all of a sudden, he came back out of the trucking. You know, he he, he stepped out of the trucking industry. Uh, yep. Uh, he stepped out for a minute, a minute, and now he's right back in it. the The thing that the thing that trips me out is is that a lot of people, um, a lot of a lot of YouTubers. Uh, trucker trucker youtubers that think that they can you know because they got a a substantial amount of subscribers you know maybe yeah. making a little bit of change you know they think they can you know step away from the industry and 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 try to and try to do something you know try to do something that everybody in their mama's wishing to do you know they they over here trying to make YouTube the the end all be all and you can't do that. You know, you still you know, I've seen I've seen, you know, these few truckers out here that try to step out of it, but then they they make one video over here talking about, you know, hey, I'm doing this, doing that, and the third. And I guess they just realized that their viewership went down, their subscription went down because they, they they they're not interested no more you know they're they're not you know they're you know their their content their their interest was in trucking that's why people people jumped on i mean that's the same thing with my channel i talked to i talked to my good friend nick from nick and carla and she was yeah. saying she was saying yo you know i came to your channel for the trucking content but now yeah. I see you doing reactions and you doing other things. I'm not interested in those other things. I'm interested in the trucking content. So I guess you can consider me as a dead subscriber because I know that the next time your, your notification comes up and it's not what I want to see, I'm not going to click on it. And I yeah. said, you know what? I understand that. And that's where I see where a whole bunch of other these guys going to. Now, in order to get your 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 groove back, you jump right back into the industry that brought you the fame in the first place. Yeah, yeah, that brought you. Yeah. So, you know, if you're gonna change up, you know, there's nothing wrong with it's just it's hard to take a particular audience, whatever you uh um or if you talk about if you're gonna be talking about trucking and mm -hmm. or towards New Jacks or wherever else, and you start gaining a lot of subscribers to where the majority of those subscribers are making up the forefront of your channel, mm -hmm. then then you gotta realize that those subscribers are interested in a particular kind of content. Now I'm not saying all those subscribers won't watch your damn content on every video, because you'll have some that do, but the most of them are like, well, he's change up his content or changing up this and that and mm -hmm. I don't want to watch that but they don't want to unsubscribe because oh well, you may make a video about that you know mm -hmm. about some of the oh, other content so um, you know they kind of get into that and uh, and that's kind of like some of the problem with mine you know when I first started my channel it was about you know uh, uh, just different types of eating and mm -hmm. a little bit more of the vlogging and as I got busier into it, it it's it's changed up and I realized where when I first started the YouTube space I was kind of holding back on some of my uh, uh, just the way uh, I spoke to some of my thoughts and stuff like that because um, I realized that some people uh, um, don't want to hear you know everything that's going through your mind or whatever else right but then I got to the point where I was like you know what if this you don't is my like channel. me you don't like me 
and this is my channel. And yeah, I'm gonna this is, that's talk how I the way feel. I want to talk. Right. I'm gonna make the content I want to make. Right. And if, and if, and you, if you like, like it, then you. That, that's how I am. I'm. I'm the same way. Yeah. I. I just. You know. <laughs> I. I. I went there with. You know. I went there with my subscribers for a minute. I was like, well, you know, I. I'll do this and I'll do that. But then I went to sleep on it that night and then I came right back the next day. I was like, look, you either fuck with me or you don't. Yeah. Or you don't. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, you that's don't. where that's yeah. where it's going to boil down to. You either fuck with me or you don't because I don't have you time don't. to make I don't have time to make two, three, four, five YouTube channels to cater to, 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 cater uh, to yeah, what you yeah. guys want. <laughs> you know, make yeah. a Twitch, yeah. you know, make, make a Twitch account just to cater to what you guys want. Now, my my thing yeah. with YouTube is a love hate relationship. Everybody it knows is. that. I I fucking hate YouTube, but <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm yeah. I'm not gonna give up. I'm I'm not gonna give up my fifteen hundred my sixteen hundred uh, dollar a week job for no motherfucking two hundred dollars a month, bro. That's not gonna happen. No. No. That's that's it, not gonna it comes happen. To a point where YouTube is a more of a hobby and Hop, if you get thank you something from it you get something from it but it's a hobby it's, that's, that's it's what a it's platform it. that you're able to talk about different kind of stuff whatever and voice it's a social media platform and that, i think a lot of times I a, see lot a lot of people, of people take this do, shit too damn watch, serious and they take it too serious and they're like well this guy is and they almost they almost put that youtuber in it's like he's a celebrity also. yeah like and he's like, a rock man, star just, or some shit like that yeah. i was like no nah, i mean don't I appreciate the I appreciate the yeah, follows. I appreciate, I appreciate the the subscriptions <laughs> and everything. But I'm I'm yeah. no damn rock star, man. Bump all that. I'm just uh, I'm, I'm just special. I'm just a, I'm, not, I'm just an ordinary person. truck driver. Yeah, just a person that turns on a camera and I talk about whatever whatever the subject material is. There and you I go. think that when it comes down to it, it's we all have you know uh, uh, we all have different things and and life is is a roker life isn't sunshine and rainbow but life isn't a rainy day every day of the week so i think when a person can actually just turn on the camera and talk about different kinds of stuff and actually be honest with their mindset and you can see how you know when you start opening yourself up like that and you're able to talk about whatever talk about just whatever and you know whatever's on your mind and trucking space and you know you don't have to do a free trip video all the Exactly. You know, you can talk about what upsets you with the industry and voice your concerns, but you what, find yourself being more honest with what, only your, with yourself. What do you what What do you how, how do you feel about uh how how do you feel about uh, a lot of truckers leaving uh YouTube for TikTok? Do do you have a do you have a TikTok account? Yeah, I have a TikTok account. I do everything that's uh, uh not trucking related not a lot of videos mm -hmm. i think i may have like 10 videos up or whatever else but mm -hmm. uh it's kind of just goofy stuff for my daughter oh and, okay uh, <laughs> so, you, you, yeah, so, so would uh, you so basically what you doing is that you keeping you know whatever you want to talk about trucks on yeah. youtube but yeah. you you know you but you just want to do the silly tiktok shit on tiktok you you don't want yeah, to do, you don't want to come over and be a part of the truckers community, which which is growing expeditiously over there. Yeah, yeah, I see it growing and everything, and uh, you know it's a new it's a it's a new social well not it's new but not new it's it's yeah, new it's, for truckers right and, yeah it's new for and truckers stuff like that yeah so they're starting to go over because they can make a short little video it's easy. All the editing is all in one app and everything else. It's it's very very I can see easy to use. Mm -hmm. It's totally different. I've tried to, and it's uh, it's caught me off guard, so to speak, um, with uh, just different different way of filming, a different way of putting together the video and everything else, and putting what you have to say within a forty five second to a minute yep. time frame, exactly. or maybe up to three minutes, but. <laughs> I see on the longer videos, even the three minute videos aren't going to get those views like well, I, 45 seconds to a minute video. I think I, I think um, and I'm waiting. I'm, I'm being totally honest with you. I, I think uh, I think by the end of next year uh, with as many downloads as this app has, I, I think they're going to I, I think they're going to have long form content over there. 
You know, they already yeah. they already got the lives, and the lives is yeah. so fucking boring. Yeah, think, it is boring. Yeah. <laughs> boring. <laughs> yeah, the, I've come across like goofy shit on there, and like goofy uh, and uh, boring. Goofy ass lives. <laughs> goofy and fucking boring. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so you know, as soon as they go long form, you know, they, you know, of of course, uh, a lot more truckers that's on YouTube are are oh, going to yeah. are going to migrate over there. You know, you 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 grow quicker over here. Yep. You know, I I would say the feet more so than the than more so female than the males. I mean, you know. I had to, I had to put it out there. I mean the girl the the female truckers that I came across, uh the most popular one, which is uh Clarissa, she got one point five million followers, man. I'm talking about yeah. million one point yeah. five. <laughs> then, you know, you got my girl KJ, she's up to fifty thousand. Uh I, yeah, I talked to uh fast. I talked to um let me see. Who did I talk? I talked to uh Allie. You know, she she's like fifteen, sixteen thousand. So, you know, the females, uh, you know, and all of the and all of the females that's on TikTok, you know, my problem is my my problem with the app before we get on up out of here. My problem is with the app, I like it, it's cool and all, but I know what it is. It's it's a kids app. It's it, it yeah, ain't nothing. Yeah, it's it's, it's a kids it's app. A, it's just it's a, like it's a younger, it's yeah. a younger generation app that yeah. that goes for a younger generation because yeah. of uh, the different stuff that you can do the 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 from the music to the um, mm -hmm. to the edits. It's all what's modern, and it's you know that's why a lot of people, a lot of the older people are probably Are, gonna stay with YouTube. But that's what they know. Right. That's what they that's what they look at. And they look on TikTok and they just see a bunch of. Kid videos, or kid videos, like that. dancing videos, yeah. shaking ass videos. Yeah, shaking ass. You yeah. know, and, and that's and why. So, and then eventually the platform is going to grow, and it's going to get even. It's grown now, but it's going to continue to where it's like, where then it's like it's like a MySpace and Facebook, right? Deal. But then everybody ventures out of MySpace, and you hear someone say, "Well, I have a MySpace account." You're like, "What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> you got a MySpace account?" <laughs> Even though they yeah. existed, type yeah. of deal. But my, my back space. in the day, MySpace was the shit growing up, you know. So it's just it, it's what something new that's coming in, and I'm not saying that's what's going to happen to YouTube, but you know, it's just another platform that is growing exponentially because they're very open to the modernness and everything else, and they're not really. I don't think they're really censoring too much over there yet, but right. eventually probably that will come. Not yet. Not yet. They will. They will yeah. be in a minute. Yeah, they will <laughs> once they grow big enough and <laughs> they start pulling in ads like uh, uh, like when you know, when they start crazy. exactly. You're exactly right. When they start uh yeah. when they start pulling in uh ads and um when they start pulling in ads and and all that shit, then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it'll change up the thing, and that's where it's like I kind of like YouTube, you know. I I I've, I'm still growing, but uh, I'm just for a particular kind of person, man. A particular person that you know, we'll talk about trucking, but we'll also voice our concerns on different stuff, and uh, and, mm -hmm. and I just I I voice I voice it. It's a platform. It's a social media platform. At the end of the day, I think two people get caught up. On, oh man, this guy all he does is talk about whatever, or he or he does this, and it's like you know it it's you know life it, it's you know people think well if you talk about that well then you're not a good business person. And it's like right. ah man, uh, it's not really the case. Uh, but I appreciate your comments and concerns, and uh, you right. know it, it is what it is. You know I'm a normal person just like anybody else. I'm just business wise, I'm all about business, and then YouTube that's just more or less my personal stuff. And if I show some insight of what's going on with my business, then it's some insight, but it, it, it's not who I am. Who I am is a, you know, it, it's just that it's bees knees, man. And you're either with the ride or you're not with the ride. And that's okay. If you're not, man, you either, it's you just either, what it is. you either, you either fuck with me or you don't. 
That's what's up. No, he don't. Bees yeah. knees in the building. Thank you very much, Broham. I appreciate the time. I appreciate uh I appreciate the convo and everything, man. Yes, sir. You uh you uh <laughs> you definitely stay up. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you know, make sure you still bringing that money on in. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to be a uh, company driver at this, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you say you just trying to be a company driver making your money. That's about it, man. Ten <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, hey, I appreciate the uh I appreciate your time, man. I appreciate the conversation. You stay safe out there. And um, and we'll definitely uh, touch base again. Yes, sir. Be good, man. I appreciate you. All right, man. Be easy, yo. Yes, sir. You too, man.